What's up everybody? Thanks for watching Car Inside. It is time for some dirt here on iRacing with these C-Fixed trucks. Love racing dirt on in these truck series. Um, it's one of my favorite things. I'm typically not a dirt racer, but when it comes to the trucks and the NASCAR stuff, I absolutely love racing it. So we're going to have some fun and sling some mud this week. Uh, our qualifying lap was a 22.127, so we're going to break it down, kind of show you guys how we got that. Really don't pay attention um, to what I say. I don't know a lot of the dirt lingo. Um, kind of watch more of what I do and my throttle inputs here, but we'll let you watch the lap live time. But it's all about managing that throttle, throttle control on this lap. You kind of want to sling the truck in there, kind of manage the throttle, keep it down as close as you can to this berm here. When you kind of feel you can drive straight off, then that's when you're going to throttle up. But I've been lifting about halfway middle um, of the back and the front. Get that truck down to the bottom, manage the throttle as much as you can. Throttle up as quick as you can. And that is a 22.127. So... We'll watch this lap here and break it down. Start lifting about the start finish line. Gradually, kind of getting back in it just the slightest bit. You can see we're just sawing the wheel right, left, right, left. One thing I would suggest I'm running a 8 to 1 ratio with a plus 6 offset. That is the generic setting for the iRacing. But the thing that I would suggest is turning down the degree of rotation in your wheel settings if you can. I have mine turned down to 360 degrees. That way I don't have to give as much input to the wheel, but it's turning three times the one what it should be typically when I'm running an oval at 900 degrees. But you can see again here lifting down to about 50-60% throttle. We start throttling up back up off the corner yet again to the start finish line. And that is a 22.127. Now that is in qualifying conditions which is 15% track state. It may vary just a little. We um, from session to session but that's generally going to be about the, the uh, percentage of track that you get for your qualifying run so hopefully that will translate over and hopefully um, what you've seen here helps if this is something that you have enjoyed and it is helpful um, please hit that like button leave me a comment definitely leave me a comment and let me know that it is helpful uh, that's the whole purpose of doing these things so I definitely I need that feedback we uh, we're getting a lot of likes and a lot of comments but I need more and more to keep doing this so um, let me know that uh, that it's helping you um, if there's something that I'm not doing that you wish that I would do uh, something I could do better don't be uh, don't be shy leave a comment I got thick skin. I'll take tough. Uh, I'll take criticisms. Um, if you can uh, criticize what I'm doing and tell me how to be better, it's only going to help me help you. So, in the long run, it helps all of us. But as always, thank you guys for watching Car Inside. If you would please, again, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you guys next time.